Yo guys, yo guys, you know the drill. It's me. It's the event. We are playing uh, the Rika deck, uh, one of the most played in this current event here. Unfortunately, not at its strongest point because you can't really make your full combo, but you can still go for your rank eight strong teardrop place or also for your sacred tree beast hyperiton. I am close to finishing uh, this thing here, this event. Only four wins to go, basically, and I thought I will take you uh, with me on a few games. Let me know the comments by the way guys how uh, did you found this event as you might know i'm not the biggest fan of the events i find them a bit boring mm, it was okay with this event i would say not quite sure why maxi is in here because um, i think this would be a very um good option oh wow this is a going second hand if there ever was one let me put a bit of music on here but um, i think this would be a great option to um yeah to not have maxi in here basically <laughs> Uh, the Nimleria stuff, interesting, but they um, they don't do it. And also like like Edison format, gold format. This would also be very cool. You can manage two face down cards from extra deck face down at two level with it. Okay, that's that's something I want, I guess. Not too familiar with the Nemleria stuff. I only know that if this girl is summoned, it basically banishes everything or, or something. If this card is special summoned for every three of your face down banished cards, you can manage up to one card from your opponent's field and or graveyard. If you have no, you can special summon, okay. And then, how is this? Once, if you have face up on your X quick, you can vanish this guy until the end of this turn. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, but <laughs> fortunately I cannot play with this hand. So I guess we have to skip another turn. Not the most like reliable the Rika deck is. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what did you play in this event and how did you like it? Another Dream Tower, okay. That's okay, I guess, because I can once again ash this. Is this, is this only when, when being activated or what? Oh no, okay. But this is once per turn, right? This cannot do it also. You can only use this effect of Dream Tower once per turn. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. See what we draw here next turn. Give me some Rika cards. No, I'm 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 really hyped for um, I'm really hyped for the upcoming pack. I hope uh, this will be a good one. As this uh, January season of Masuru was a bit boring. Oh, this is unfortunately not it. Uh, okay, let's 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 scoop this. I need a hand that I can uh, do something with. Mm. Yeah, not the biggest fan of this month's um, basically meta. Let me know what, what you think. Uh, super Heavy Samurai. How does the Super or How has the Super Heavy Samurai flood uh, affected you when playing the game? We do not see or we have not seen any um, nerfs to the Super Heavy Samurai archetype, which I think was to be expected. It is new. You can't really like kill the deck at this point because... It has just entered the game. We have Petal, that's nice. Petal is obviously our one card starter here in the Rika deck that gets us to the Mudan and then even further. I think with this we can, we can, ah, don't interrupt me. I have nothing then, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I can use the princess, but then, hmm, doesn't really get me anywhere because I have to tribute this um, and then I can search the Mudan. Doesn't really make sense because... Nah, it doesn't really make sense. Could search the Mudan, but then what? I need something to um, basically tribute for this. But yeah, this is a very hand trabbish um, event, that's for sure. Feels very hand trap esque. Ever want to call it so? Oof, this is a good Ash Blossom target if there ever was one. But I mean, from your deck. Okay, this this also starts the combo, I guess. So maybe we do negate the Harp Horror here with the Princess. I mean, we will get the Petal back in the end, so that's fine. And then hope that this basically ends his place. We have an Imperm left. Let's try. Let's get this. I mean, it would be great if we would have the field spell online because then we could tribute his stuff, right? But now we have to hope 
that there is nothing else. Not the Dingarsu, right? Okay, I think this is doing nothing. Question mark, yes. Yes, yes. I mean, normally I'm a fan of these low resource situations. Um, but honestly, only if there are like cool decks that there are to play. Okay, pedal, pedal. Let's try the pedal for the second time. Let's try again with the pedal. <laughs> Can we get the pedal through? Yes, and now we can go Mudan to our hand, obviously. Activate the Mudan. Let's see whether there is a mix. See here. Ah, there it is. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Max C. Uh, in that case, it's a bit unfortunate, but we can at least get the field spell, get the trap online. That is quite strong. This gives us additional interruption on his next turn. The deck is fortunately not bad into Maxi. We just get the trap online here. Though I think we could have also gotten uh, the spell card to get our monster negate once again. This also would have been a good option because now we can tribute his stuff for effects that we want to activate. Okay, nice one. But that's what I mean. These are very low resource games, but unfortunately only with decks that I personally am not super interested in. So let's push for, push for like three more wins and then we can call this call this a day at this event. Ugh. I've definitely saved up a lot of money skipping on the January pack. I have like, I don't know, I mean, I think there are like 13,000 gems ready for the February pack whenever that comes. And we have the petal, nice. And you can see how many like going second hand trap stuff there is in this deck, it's crazy. Rikapetal. It's so funny, I don't know if you know this guys, but one of the most known players here in Europe playing the Rika deck is also called Petal with like his last name, I think. And he, he won with, oh, oh my God. <laughs> He won with this deck uh, in uh, the European Championship. So I think that's quite funny. As someone who is at the moment playing um, basically the TCG dueling book, Omega, and then obviously live events, I definitely have to get reused to being hit with Maxi all the time. So the question here is, do we want this or do we want this? Because I mean, this could give us the monster negate that also tributes something. So this is steel two and this is monster negate. Both is not bad. Now let's get the trap. The main the main win condition, by the way, with this with this Rika deck, this specific Rika deck that you can play in the event here, um, by the way, is um, being able to tribute your opponent's monsters with the field spell, for like the Mudan effect or for the um, effect of the the other eight star uh, Rika monster. So that's that's how you basically uh, win. Because you don't have access to your really strong cards. What does this do? Scrap tuner from your deck to your hand. Yeah, go ahead. Scrap Raptor. Okay, it's fine. Go for it. Don't they have a link one, link two? They have a link two, I think. They don't have a link one, right? It's okay, I think. Attack once you can summon. Can normal summon? Ah, okay. Um. Do I imperm this? I think it's okay. Ah. Ah. 
can add something afterwards. Interesting. Okay. You can send one. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. Not familiar with these cards. Scrap Recycler. So this is not a dino deck, this is a scrap deck then, right? Because I know that we are playing... Oh, it's Orchest, okay. Interesting. What does this do? What? I have to read this. What what were we activating? Banish this card from me and then target one face a month and you can switch some for uh, all. Send one dark machine also from me to accept orcus and happen if you do. Okay. So we are basically hard power on it. I'm I'm um that's funny because the Orcus uh, archetype is also back in the TCG. Yeah, it's hard power. Um but I'm re really not familiar with the archetype. I guess we go hard power here. Now you can special summon from the deck. We go max C. And now he goes for the Dingursu, right? So we could maybe negate the Dingursu with the Imperm and then tribute both of them. And then this should stop his place, question mark? We also need to get our... Oh, we have the petal already. Yeah, it's Dingursu, right? Mm. I guess we are, we are Imperming this and then we are getting rid of both of them. But we have to let this because I'm I'm not quite sure if they I think they have a link they can link two with this here if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. The question is what do we get to the grave? Can this do something in the grave? Um if there are two in this card's column, if you control no I can switch someone word in uh, once per turn. Okay, I think we are getting this to the grave and stealing this one. I'm I'm not sure, but I think this is the more this is the one you don't want to have in Grave, or that they do want to have in Grave, actually. Goes Battle Phase, goes Man Phase, goes End Phase, and gets the thing back. Okay. This is interesting, by the way. You, as the guy who has End Turn effects, you can choose which one to activate when. This is very interesting. Let's start with the petal. We can set the, the spell card. Mm, the spell card can get us these here, right? So I think it's no drop. Even though we don't have another plan to use that for. I think this I think snow drop is correct. And then we can set the spell card. And then the spell card can tribute. Oh, by the way, we can tribute the Dingurs. Oh, we have to tribute ours. Otherwise it would will not work. Oh, we, we can tribute this. Because um, I can normal summon still the Primula. Because normally you can only special summon the Primula if you um, have distributed one of your own plant monsters. But I can still normal summon her and then the Princess, and then we can make Strenner. Fortunately, we can't kill him, I think. So I think we go Strenner here. We can then maybe attack with 3000. I don't think that we will able to go for more the cool thing is that we can get something back to our oh we can't hmm wait 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 so can i activate yeah, i can activate this to get back there but i want another i want another plant monster in my hand um okay we are we are doing this okay we are doing this to get a plant monster into the grave because then i can um activate strana get the plant monster back to hand and then i can also summon the um this one here and we might um also be able to Summon another plant for free to the field. Oh, nice. Lone Fire Blossom. Maybe we can kill him this turn. Let's see. Pants a bit. Nip? Was... Oh my god, it was five summons. He has a nip. <laughs> I mean, at least we can look at the hand? Question mark. But this this activates Strenna, right? Because this tributes her. So we are getting the Strenna here. And he places this in attack? What? <laughs> I think this was a mistake. I think we can still kill him. Oh no, we can't. It's close though. It's close. Maybe I should have gotten for the negate. Oh, we can kill him. It's, it's game. Nice. This was, a, this was a fun one. Huh. 
<laughs> Nej, det är så spännande. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, because if you tribute the Strena, then you can summon an XYZ from the deck and attach her as material to the XYZ. Which then was our Teardrop the Rika Queen. Going second. Let's see if we can draw our evenly matched. Evenly. So which deck have you brought to the event, guys? Let me know in the comments. Evenly, nip, and we have a Rika Glamour for starting our place. I like this. Uh, Rika, by the way, also getting new support in Phantom Nightmare. Oh, what is this? Also Rika? Okay. But I mean, we have to roll. Does this really help us? Yeah, it does, actually. If he searches the petal, yeah, we can just lock him here. So we cannot continue his searching. Caught by? Okay. This is definitely unfortunate because um, I don't think he will play into Nip, to be honest. But uh, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Let us see. So depending on what comes out in the February pack, I'm definitely going for uh, like a ranked climb next season with like the Rescue A stuff, maybe Unchained. We are getting even Noble Knight stuff, so maybe maybe that's something. Sets the sheet. Okay, I mean the evening match will be very good. Mudan. At first, when I when I when I built this deck in Master Duel, I was like, oh, I don't think that I like this deck. I don't like the artwork of the cards. But to be honest, this is a very fun deck. Oh, this is like desperate. Hmm. Would been it would have been okay getting more plants. I mean, the really annoying thing is that the the pedal is there. <sighs> do we evenly matched here? I guess we do, right? Oh, double, triple tactics. I guess we evenly matched here because why not? And then see what stays on the field. And then we can start our own Rika place. I guess he keeps pff, fields, but question mark. Okay, keeps the trap, so he can negate. Okay, so what we can. Okay, so we go Glamour here to get Petal, but then he can if he... He can get the... Maybe he has an Ash. He has an Ash. Okay, that's nice, though, because we have Talents. The question is, though... Yeah, Talents, we have to we have to draw, right? We have to draw. Okay. Um, that's nothing. And now he gets his pedal back, unfortunately. Question is, do we scoop this? I think we scoop this here. I think we can get an easier win. You should, when playing this event, you should think about scooping because you also need to achieve your additional missions, basically, um, which you can quite e so, so So the thing is that I have already basically achieved all of them. I'm only missing like two or three of them, which I will have achieved after this. So when you when you are close to achieving all your additional missions, I think it's worth um, scooping just to save some time. I mean, it depends on whether you really like to to play this event or you are you don't and just want to to get the the money basically, which uh, is why I am here. I want to get the gems. Show me the money. Show me the gems. Sixty cards. Oh, this looks big. Okay. Hmm. Ash and Imperm, and the rest is the rest is nice. We can go Kong Kong. Rika tribute his stuff. Get the queen to the field. This looks looks nice. Oh, it's this stuff again. Do we interrupt this here? I think we do because this starts this starts the whole Dingersu 
thing play, right? And I don't really want that. Nice, 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 nice. Still have the Ash for potential max C. Now we can also trigger. I think this should be ours, right? Depending on what he still has. Okay, nice. You go. Uh, that that's actually nice because that's one one less hand card that we have to worry about. Maybe he scoops right here. Doesn't. Okay, it's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's also where I would have scooped if I don't need to fulfill my missions. Man, still waiting for the really cool events. There's so much potential in these events. It would be so cool if they, once again, I, I have, I have, I have, I've written this to them, right? I have, I filled out the surveys, which I'm normally not a guy to fill out surveys. I'm normally not a guy who is like, I will make my voice known. That's not my typical behavior, I would say. But I, I wrote them. I was like, okay, guys, it would be so cool. Do gold format. Do. Um, to Edison format, um, give the people um, all the cards for the event uh, for free, basically, so you don't have to craft anything. Uh, because if I want to, for example, play Monarchs in Edison format, I don't want to craft all the ultra rare Monarch stuff, which I can then not use when I uh, play normal, right? So it doesn't make uh, any sense at all. Um, this is more like, this would have been really great if you would have established something, right? But I mean, one set down card is also fine for me. This has to get through, otherwise we have nothing. Yeah, we have to pedal, 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 pedal. Pedal for oh, this could this could be it. This could be the end of this event. Guys, do you feel how hyped I am? I'm I'm ready for this to end. Ash is me here. It's okay. Talents would be so. Mwah. Question is, do we battle into this? I don't think that we do. I could get the information on what this is here, but um, and I can I can make the tree because I will get this back next turn, even though the tree is not really super helpful. But it's a link one, I guess. So let's set this. Do we want to set the evenly matched? Not really, right? Hmm. Let's set it. Because why not? Still have the draw, still have an interruption. We have another glamour. We will get the petal back. Once you have the petal in rotation, um, grind wise, it's very nice. Oh, okay, this is, not, this is rough, obviously. But it's okay, we still have the draw. Oh, it's flip. <laughs> Funny. Reshadol Wendy. Especially someone should have a face down. Ah, I'm face down defense position, okay. And what are we summoning here? I guess the event is cool when it comes to getting to know new cards that you normally do not see, right? Because this is honestly not something I have ever seen in any, like, normal game. What have we? Archer Doll Beast. Okay, if you can talk to this card one. Okay. That's that's okay. I mean, the cool thing is that he cannot attack my tree, right? He has to go direct attack, I think. Or don't attack at all. Shadol Beast, okay. Now we are getting the Rika petal back. Uh, what can I do uh, again? Uh, oh, the, oh ooh, I can also special summon something. That's nice. I wasn't aware of that. Free bodies. Can also gain some life here. I wasn't aware of this plant thingy here, but I mean, it, it's part of the basic combo, I guess. Okay, another flip card. And we are getting back our petal. The cool thing is that we can tribute this. I think we can tribute the face down card with the field spell. And then he does not get his draws, right? Ooh, an effect better. Very not useful. Okay, let's, let's see. Here's another Ash, okay? This is a bit annoying. This is a bit annoying, but I guess it's fine. Guess we go glamour here, and I also guess we tribute the petal because we will get it 
back. This still looks good, if you ask me. Because we can now go... I can also go Bengal Lancer. Ah, Bengal Lancer is not that good here. But um, the important thing is that we get the... Um, the princess in the grave. This is the most important thing, because then we have a monster negate life. For that I will... Oh, I, I don't need to get the petal. That's right, I can get the spell back. Um, and now... We could even like normal summon one of these, go Nightmare Unicorn and then get rid of this here. I think I like this. I think I like summoning the Veiler. Then I can go Nightmare Unicorn with these. I don't need the Duster here. Question is what do I spin back? I think this one. But if this card is sent to the by a card effect, okay. This one, because this can draw cards. Don't really want that. Um, we're going here. Should have read this, by the way. Um, but it's okay, I guess. What does this do? Uh, sure, what was this again? Flip, you can special summon. Okay. This is okay, I guess. Because we can also negate this, right? We still will get back. Oh no, we can't. Oh, this this time we won't get back our uh, petal. This is something I I wasn't thinking about, to be honest. Maybe I should have kept the effect Vader. Let's do this because then we can also um, get either the queen to the grave or the monster negate guy. Hmm, I think we go queen. Oops, this was not the zone I wanted to summon this in, but okay. Ah, this is like, you can add one invocation. Sure, do it. Joel and Lockbird him here. So I have to read this. Fusion summon fusion monster from your extra deck uh, using monsters from your hand, from your hand as fusion material. In the video, you can also banish from a field and or either player's grave. Okay, so I don't need to tribute something here because it doesn't really make a difference. Okay, there's a link one. If another Magistus normal, you control this monster and uh, with this card is equipped. Okay. I'm not super familiar with what this tries to achieve, to be honest. I guess that's okay. Let's see what comes here. I'm, I'm not really familiar with the Shadol stuff. I, when I started playing, this, was, um, this wasn't really an important archetype. Okay. Or monster effect, you send the same type of card monster from your hand to the graveyard, negate the activation if you do banish that card. So I could try to get rid of this, but then... I guess I can also battle over this, right? Let's not, because this cannot beat this. You can do what? Add the Alistair back to the hand. Okay, now he has a monster to get in hand. Spell trap once effect is activated. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I will lose this. But I mean, if he kills this, that would be nice because then I get my petal back. Though he can negate the petal, right? But if he negates the petal, then I can get rid of this with the Ricker. The important thing is that he has no like additional really good place with these here. If they can link climb into something something strong, then that would be a problem. But I mean, what Sharma? This could go into a wind Sharma and then revive my Droll and Lockbird? Question mark. 
But who plays the wind charm, alright? So I don't think this is a thing. Let's see. He's number seven, the Alistair, right? End of the main, okay, cool. It's cool. Hmm? Am I missing something here? Once per turn when a spell trap monster effect is activated. What? Why are we attacking into my thing? Misclick? Question mark? It's cool. Go for it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up as you would do in Dueling Book. Ah, interesting. Uh, yeah, in that case, I um, have to use this now, I guess. She can negate this now. Oh, doesn't. Interesting. Come on, give up. You can use this once again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, this is annoying. <laughs> uh, this is super annoying. What is this? Okay, but this is everything that this does. Okay, okay. We have a glamour, right? This saves us. Fortunately. Because this can get me a petal and petal can get me other things. And if I have read correctly, there is no more interruption here on the field. Now we should have this because Mudan is field spell, field spell is tribute his stuff, and then this should be it. Tough one. <laughs> but here's the thing that I really like about this event. Um, what? <laughs> I have not read this. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> if this card is... Oh, a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I have not read this carefully. But okay, I guess. Then we just have to go... Battle? Can you get this stuff back from the graveyard? Is this in your graveyard target one of your... At that monster, one of your banished Alistars. There is an Alistar, he can do this shit again. Oh, come on. Oh, damn it, this would have been game without this stupid thing here. I mean, he has to kill this at some point and then we will get back a petal, right? Oh, this is so annoying. But we can ash this. We need to ash this. to get rid of this fusion summon fusion monster the problem is that he cannot kill this fusion monster because <laughs> this is only 2000 attack not even aware if he knows that this does not come back as long as this is on the field Give me the win with your Alistar shit. Kill this. <laughs> Get this off the field. Make him make your own Nightmare Unicorn and spin my Nightmare Unicorn back, please. This would be great. I just have to get my stuff online for once. I just need any, uh, give me another petal or something. Or any Rika that tributes, like a Mudan, a petal. Okay, set down. A Mudan, a petal, some Rika card, please. Princess. Uh, I mean, this works, because we can normal summon the princess and activate this then. This is not... 
We can go bang a Lancer also and spin this back into the extra deck. If he does not like... Okay, nice. Now we can tribute this. Yes! Oh god, let this not be something annoying here. Let's get rid of this thing. What is this? Okay, nice. I want to tribute. Yes! Please don't interrupt this. Nice. I can't? Why can't I? What? I can tribute his stuff, can't I? Anyways. Let's try this again. This sh Now I should be able to tribute his guy. No? Why can't I tribute him? Guy, give me back the priority. You, you know yourself that you won't activate anything here. Hello. Guy does not want to give me the 300 gems I'm missing. Give me my gems, man. Oh, I wish there would be a chat. I would so write him, hey man, give me priority. Oh, we, are, we have gotten rid of this thing. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. This event. <gasps> I hate these events. It's done. It's done. This is always like the, my favorite moment of, of the month when these events are basically done. I mean, this is this is quite cool, but I'm hell not playing any more of this. Guys, guys, we have done it. Let's collect the final, like, the final gems. I think I have done every um, mission that there was here. Um, Okay, no, there is a 50 is 50 is missing, but that's okay. And this, by the way, what I always do, I wait um, until I play the event for like um, a few. Um, oh, 10 days left with the dual pass, by the way. We're also getting new dual pass stuff. So I wait for the event to get new additional missions, um, which is when I start playing, because then you don't need to play over and over again just to get. Um, so if you if you complete the first bulk of missions, then you have to go play again in this event to complete the second bulk. So that I'm I'm not done. For, I'm not down for. We have nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, and then we have here. How much is this? I guess another like two thousand. I guess so. We have twelve thousand at the moment. Definitely ready for the next event, guys. Thanks for being here. It's a blessing, not a fault, not a curse, to have you here. If you like my kind of videos, please consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up, and the notification bell. We will see each other in the next one.